Ah, man. Well, this sucks. Listen, there is no viable reason for any man to put their hands on a woman unless that said woman is doing physically bodily harm to either him, someone else, or herself. It's the only logical reason that I've ever seen a viable reason for a male to put their hands on a female. That being said, this sucks, dude. I'm really unfortunate to hear with the uh, guilty verdict that has been placed on Jonathan Majors for assault on his now ex-girlfriend, which, of course, Disney and Marvel being family establishments, the reputation already in the garbage, you know, made the swift decision to separate him completely from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and his Kang role. This man went from being the center of the entire multiverse saga to not having any part of it at all whatsoever. I enjoyed him in Ant-Man, and I really enjoyed him in Loki. It's an absolute shame. But this is not the point of this video. The point of this video is to move on. What's for the future? Are we going to just see the role get replaced? Is it just going to be somebody else to fulfill the Kang role? Or are they going to move on from the Kang saga completely and go another Marvel villain role? So that's what I want to tackle today. Let's look at some big major Marvel villains that could potentially take the spot for Kang. Very excited. Let's do it. Number one, the most obvious Dr. Doom, the arch nemesis of the Fantastic Four. I think if I was thinking with my brain, this is probably the most logical choice. You know, the Fantastic Four has already been announced. It's coming soon. Uh, I have no doubt Dr. Doom is going to forefront in that movie. And with his genius uh, intellect and his skills of electricity and metal, you know, I feel like he is a logical choice to organize a band of bad guys to build an army to take on the Avengers in multiple movies. I would love to see it. I wasn't really a fan of him in the 2000s Fantastic Four movies. I thought he was kind of bland, boring. Hopefully Kevin Feige and his team can, you know, round up some good Fantastic Four stories and some Avengers stories. Or maybe have him team up with some other baddies. Maybe a Killmonger and bring him back to life, something like that of that nature. I feel like it would be super cool. I would love to see it. And then, of course, bringing the Fantastic Four would be super cool as well. Number two, my personal choice, Venom, the arch nemesis of Spider-Man, at least one of his arch nemesis. I just played Spider-Man 2, seeing Venom take over the entire city of New York, just taking people over with numerous symbiotes and being able to take over other uh, Spider-Men and women and other uh, superheroes and supervillains uh, put them in symbiote suits and connect the venom hide mine would be super freaking cool i think it was definitely a possibility even with the fox movies i've never really been a fan of those i've always wanted the mcu to kind of tackle their own version of venom and however way that we can figure out to bring you know tom holland maybe a miles morales back into the mcu I feel like villain would be the perfect catalyst villain for a new set of Spider-Man movies, eventually leading into some Avengers uh, planetary threat movies as well. Number three, Magneto, the arch nemesis of Charles Xavier and the X-Men. What more can be said about the leader of the Brotherhood of Mutants, the master of metal and magnesium, just the organization skills of Magneto and leadership skills is second to none. Him being able to, you know, band together the mutants of the world. You know, even though we really haven't tackled mutants yet in the MCU, we've gotten a little hit there, a little hit here. You know, seeing mutants get discriminated against and having nowhere to turn. And then you introduce Magneto to band them all together to, you know, try to take over the world would be super cool to see as we've seen in early uh, 90s and 2000s X-Men movies. I'd love to see them tackle other Avengers characters like Spider-Man, uh, Black Panther, 
and so on and so forth. I'd love to see it. And since Wolverine's coming in Deadpool 3, definitely a possibility. Number four, Molecule Man. Probably the least known mainstream-wise on my list, but trust me when I say that he is one of the most pow powerful supervillains in all of the Marvel Universe. This dude, uh, as the name states, can complete control over molecules. He can manipulate the molecules in a person, in an object, whatever he deems fit. This dude is Superman level ridiculous power. Uh, Thanos would fear him. Galactus would fear him. Yeah, this dude's not a uh, joke to play to play around with. <laughs> I don't even recall or know how the Avengers would take this dude out. Good luck. <laughs> but you know, I would love to see them try though. Now this dude would definitely take out some major players before they figured out a way to go microscopic and take out his mind. But man, it would be super cool to see on screen of how that would go down. I even heard some rumors before Majors got fired that he eventually was going to transform from Kang into Molecule Man for like his last Avengers movie. At his most powerful, he can obliterate somebody down to their single molecules with a mere thought. He's that strong. All right, that's about it. Like I said, sucks the Majors got fired. Sucks for his career. I hope the best for him. Hopefully he's able to find some clarity and healing from this incident within his life. But as life does, it moves on, man. So what I want to know now, who do y'all want to see in that major antagonistic role for the MCU? My personal choice is Venom. What's your choice? Let's hear it in the comments below. That's all I got for y'all today, man. All right. See ya.